to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Tyler have been traveling around Australia for the last two years part time. So to catch up on all our older episodes and new episodes in the future, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe. Welcome back to the channel, I'm King Dino, and on this episode, we are going camp accessory shopping for things for our Jimny so we can start going away camping. Now, if you've watched our recent episode, you would have found out that yes, we have brought a Jimny, a Suzuki Jimny. It is amazing and we absolutely love it. We haven't done any major modifications to it as yet, but this is something that will probably happen in hopefully the near future. So if there's anyone out there who wants to <laughs> sponsor us and uh, help us out, let us know. But otherwise, this will be a lead up to our episode next Sunday, where we'll be taking the Jimny out for the very first time camping with our cranky croc tent and also, we'll be taking it for its first four-wheel drive run. Also, guys, if you're somebody who watches us normally for our van life content, don't worry, the van will be back. We'll be only doing Jimny episodes every so often, but mainly we'll be traveling around normally in our camper van. But anyway, guys, let's get this episode started. This has got to be fun. You might have seen us camp in our cranky croc tent before now the only thing is it is pretty big because um the way it folds down this is actually the size of the top of the tent it's a safari tent so it doesn't pack down any smaller than this um so we need to fit it into our chimney obviously so i'm going to attempt to put that in so then it gives us an idea of how much room we've got left in the back now we could put it on the roof racks we're taking our roof racks off because we actually want to get different roof racks we want to get probably a basket so we're probably going to go look for one of those um so then that way we can put either the tent in it or we could even put like our firewood um and things like that inside the basket all right well let's attempt to put this in and see how we go as you can see it fits in fine so now the next thing i'm going to do is if you remember in our first episode when we introduced the jimmy to everyone we have this mat that we can put down over the fold down dicky seats i'm going to pull that out to give us measurements on how much space we've got so we're thinking of buying some a something for watering and then different foldable collapsible containers that we can put all our camping stuff in, our clothing and bits and pieces and then put the cranky crop tent on top. And then that way we're gonna be very super organized. And also we don't wanna be taking anything from our camper van into the chimney. We wanna keep it all separate camping stuff. So that way we're ready to go and it's gonna be a really easy process. I think Twyla's gonna help us. All right, where are you gonna fit Twyla? Now, We've got our mat. I've put it up on the bench so we don't have to bend over on the ground and do our backs. Um, so this is the size that we're dealing with. We do, we'll have a little bit more room just back here because obviously you've got where people's feet go normally. And we have got behind the seats of the car. Um, but then we've got to remember too, we've got bedding to take, pillows. Um, so far what we have got is this Esky, which at the same time we're thinking we want something a little bit smaller and maybe consider electric because we do have a port where we can plug something in. We just don't know if 100% if we can plug it into what we've got, but we can ask at the shops. But for now, that'll give us um, an indication of how much room that will take up roughly. Then we know we've got the, oh, this pump. Maybe we can think about getting a small electric pump, do you reckon? But anyway, for now, there's a pump. These are our two blow-up mattresses because there is a pole in the middle of the safari tent. We have to have two single uh, mattresses, blow up mattresses. So that's how much room they take up and that's out of the packaging. So at least that gives us a real indication. And then this is our cranky croc. Um, it's like a hamper. We've had this on the episode before. It has spots where you can put things and get them out of here, like in the ten utensils, um, kitchen um, spoons and things like that. But obviously for packing reasons, we just don't want nothing on there at the moment. Just fill it up full of our kitchen stuff. So with all that on here, pretty much we're left with 
that much space. And then the Crokey Croc tent will be going on top. So let's uh, get some measurements, I think, Adam. Mm -hmm. I've got the feeling Adam's got lots to say. No, I'm just thinking. Okay. Uh, we're thinking of getting the collapsible containers of plastic. One plastic that we won't scratch the inside of the back of the boot or in the walls of the car, the seating area. Um, and then you can fold them down when they're not in use, even for groceries maybe. So yeah, so it's the multi-use. It's a multi-function. Yeah, all right. So, and that's what we're going to be measuring up now. We've got our measuring tape, pencil, and then we're going to head out like idiots to Boxing Day sales. <laughs> We've got 125. Thinking moment, light bulb moment. We've now flipped these around, gives us more floor coverage space, and then we can now get containers that are so deep. Yes. Basically, like this. Imagine that. So, and then that fits. Yeah, one, two, three, four. four. Those in a row. So maybe this is the size we're and looking for. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe all this one, two. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, we could always um, contact them and order some more. Let's see. We worked out roughly our measurements. So space-wise that we can work with, between 110 to 125 centimetres wide, you've got the depth between 30 to 35 for containers or storage space, and then the height. We're trying to keep them all the same level, so the tent is kind of level for blankets as well. So we need to get a floor mat between the ground and the tent, a water container of some sort, a collapsible pots for cooking, or condensed pots for cooking. <clears throat> single burner of some sort yeah or double but and we maybe some collapsible chairs did you have that oh, right no, got that. collapsible yeah. chairs because our chairs will probably be too big even though ours are quite small oh and a mini table of some sort and some sort of table what else we got here um clothing bags a small kettle of some sort cups utensils mini cooking storage i was thinking like like a mini i don't know like salt pepper oil coffee like a condensed unit or a condensed pack of all those things. So you're not yeah. taking so much from the pantry every time. The chairs and the mini table. All right, well, I'm sure we're gonna this list things. is going to grow. So let's hit the well, road. It's a boxing day, so we'll get some good prizes. Yeah. <laughs> Before we head to the other shops, let's head into Kmart and see what we can get there. All right, the first thing we'll come across is this Esky, which we really like, but we've got to oh, bring our measuring. It's kind of the perfect height. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're $75, so they're not on sale or anything. Uh, it does close pretty good. It seals really well. It's like, it reminds me of a Yeti, Yeti, um, Esky. But well, they probably ripped them off. And, um, yeah, they probably did rip them off. Okay, much good at that. Um, yeah, but inside, you can see it's got, it's a pretty nice big storage. You can tell it seals really well. It's got a little plug here to empty out your water. And, um, so yeah, you got a little fit on the end there. And it um, also can double up as a bit of a bench. How handy is this? It's actually got a bottle opener on the actual strap that ties it down. So it's multi-purpose use. Oh, so that's why it's going up in us. Now it has been Christmas and this place is normally really organized. I really like to come to this Kmart, it's in Camberfield. But um, <clears throat> we did find a good camping chair that folds up pretty small that we could use. Um, but we're probably going to go check out first. They've only got one here. They've got one, a few that are open, but I can't find the legs. And uh, people what are just such pigs. Taking these legs around. I don't know what they've done with them. But um, yeah, so we might go check out the ones in Anaconda and places like that first. And then if we get stuck, we'll come back and get these. We're definitely getting one of these. They cost about $25. Um, this is what we use with our camper van. So we're just going to get its very own for our um, chimney. So we'll pop that in. We're now in storage and we found these. We absolutely love them. We think they're great. They've got, even got a lid and they stack really well. The only problem is, what we don't like, is when you put them together, you can see here, we've got this much space we're wasting. So we don't know if this is the way to go. But after really seriously thinking about this, we are going to go this. We are going to lose some room here, but I think we'll gain a lot from these, especially now they've got lids, so they're multi-purpose. And also, I've just noticed that by putting the mat on here, because the mat will always go back into this packaging, um, we can make it pretty even with this. And we can find something else to go on that lid, and then the tent will go on top. So I think, I think we like it. You have a Flybys card. Please scan it now. We're just leaving Kmart and he's absolutely bucketing down. 
so I'm going off to pick Adam up. <laughs> Adam's just throwing all our stuff in the back and uh, we're going to get out of here and hopefully we don't get too wet. Hey Adam. <laughs> just... Hurry, hurry, just throw it in. Don't have to organise it. So the rain's still going but we've just arrived at an, on Anaconda and uh, look at the car park we got. Score. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, a, as a drink of lemonade. But um, yeah, so we've got one right out the front. So let's go and check it out. Thing we already do have in the camper van, but they're a bit too bulky, is a sleeping bag. And we're looking at these. These are tiny. Um, not that we know too much about sleeping bags, but so we're looking for something tiny, but that's going to keep us warm. Um, so these things have like degrees. So it's got zero degrees and there's uh five or celsius or whatever they call it um so yeah we're just kind of trying to work out what the best option is and something that can go really small and compact like these i'm going to go for this extra large size and um this isn't this is what two celsius and then negative two and what's yours uh negative five negative five and yours is not a hooded huh because you get cold yes um and what? And it's um, not a hooded. No. So that's standard that's the type there. All right, we've done a big search for some sort of cushion. These are the best ones we've found. We thought these are really cool. And they're on sale for $27.99. So it's pretty much this one here. And um, you can see this is all squashed up. It hasn't been done properly. But once you let the valve go, so you can see it's very slow, but it is self inflating now. Look at this. And it blows up quite nice. While we're waiting, Adam's just uh, shopping for Twyla, little doggy bag. She doesn't need it. Show the front of it. It's quite cute. Look at that. But no. So this is nearly done now. And I think once it is done, then you can um, tighten this back up and the air stays in there. And uh, they look really comfy and they feel comfy too. Right, our friends Laura and Rob have got the big version of this and it is on sale, but we're thinking for our tent. Just in case Twilight gets too hot, um, we're going to grab one of these. They work fantastic. You can pre-charge them up before you leave home. Plus, also, you can charge them with a little... It comes with a little cord that you can plug into your cigarette lighter. All right, we're starting to look like we're getting a good collection together. Come to BCF and we're checking out this baby for a, more of a compact kind of um, gas cooker. And uh, we've opened one up, just check it out. And it's pretty cool looking and pretty much it compacts into this container, which is about this big. So we think we like it. We just don't know how much it costs. And um, Adam was a bit worried about the fact that it has this kit here that will stop, stops it from heating up I suppose the gas bottle here where you're shooting no, that's fine. and the um the pot yeah we're just worried about the pot kind of oh the fry pan how far across it could go I think it'll be fine I mean that's my hand and I've got pretty big hands so I think it'll be all right all right I'm just going to attempt to pack it up but pretty easy pack up look at this and then it has this little clip that oh, I should put, put through here this goes over like that and we're done so compact. We're winning, aren't we, Adam? Because yeah. Adam got his toilet paper. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, it's, an, it's an essential. <laughs> well, it is. That's for our van. This is not, not for our... leaves. No. Um, <laughs> no, but we found this. How good is this? It comes with the three pots, a removable handle. It all packs down into this little box. And the biggest pot is a perfect size pot that we'd like to have. And it's just a bit bigger than my hands, so it's going to fit on this. Yeah. Perfect. All right, it's starting to fill up bit by bit. And by the time Twyla gets in here and gets yeah. bits and pieces. Twyla's bits and pieces. Oh, we're going to think about maybe a chair for Twyla. Oh, another basket. Yeah, maybe. All right, we're going to head back to Kmart now. All right, so we're back at Kmart. Let's go. Right, so we've come back to Kmart because we like the Eskies. It was the Eskies we liked, wasn't it, Adam? Hmm? <laughs> Adam's the CD. We grabbed a pizza. Um, so the Esky oh, yeah, and yeah. also seats. we like the seats. We want to see if we can get the fold-up seats here. So we've come to a different Kmart and, um, yeah, we're going to get a couple last things. All right, so we got our Esky, 75 bucks. 
So it's not bad at all. Pretty happy with that. And we think this is the best way to go for us. Well, there we go. That's what we ended up with today. We've done pretty good. I don't even want to know how much money we've spent, but uh, not too bad. So you can imagine all this packed up nicely and then the tin on top. I think we should be right. And uh, yeah, what do you think, Adam? We just need some chairs. Yes, we're still missing chairs. We didn't have them at this Kmart either. But I'll try another Kmart tomorrow. Now I've come back by myself to see if I can find one more camp chair because I've picked up one at another Kmart store. And this is where we originally started off at the start of the day. Look at this now. Oh my Lord. Pe what do people do? Oh my God. All right, so we're home now and I just unpacked the Jimny. So I've got everything inside. So I'll take you in and show you everything that we are gonna be taking away on our first trip. But before I go inside, I wanted to show you something else I brought. I went to Caps, or Caps, and um, picked myself up something to go with the Jimny. You know how much I love Caps? Well, I got myself a green one to match the Jimny. How cool is that? So this will be my new Jimny uh, filming hat and um, we'll just keep the black one for now for the van. So there you go, van, Jimny. All right, so this is all the bigger stuff inside. I'll quickly flip the camera around and show you and a few extra bits that we've added. And then I'll go show you the smaller stuff we've put together to put inside the buckets. So what we have added is a chair for Adam because this is the set of our van. We do have a third one anyway, so we've still got our two in the van um, because I picked up the one from Kmart um, we couldn't get our hands on another one, but it was good anyway because I tried it when we got home and Adam wasn't fond of it. So he's just going to go old school until we find him something he likes. Um, so when we set that up camping next week, uh, we'll show you how it is and how it goes together. Um, otherwise, yeah, with this, I don't think there's anything. I've got my screw, um, well, my, what do you call this, drill. Um, so I've got my pegs that I used at the last trip for the tent. The tent's obviously not here and toilet's basket's not here. Um, but otherwise, pretty much this is all our larger stuff. So here is all our bits and pieces that we're going to be needing. Now this will change depending on what we're cooking and what we're, you know, what we're doing on each trip. But most of this will stay in our new camping collection for the Jimny. So let's take you through a few of the items. So we'll start off in this corner. We've got some toiletries, a spare container. Um, we've got coffee, sugar. Well, we have saccharin. Don't come for us haters. And um, then we've got some oil and some Italian herbs and bits and pieces like that. Adam's cut up two sponges like that. Uh, one to wash dishes, one to wash down services. Um, so they will last us quite a while now they've been cut in half. Um, we've got something for our dirty washing to go into. We have our chopping board. We've got this here. They're the only two kind of larger pieces. And then I'll just use this box. We've got our um, fairy lights in this year. And we've used that inside. We've just got three of three forks, three knives. I even found this as a flipper, so we're not cutting a big, um, what are, whatever you call this, a tensile. Um, we've got lighter, things like spoons, little clips to seal bags. Um, one measuring cup, because you obviously you can turn this to a full cup, a half cup, whatever. And some tongs, some scissors. So yeah, so we've got all those kind of bits and pieces in there, nice and safe. We've got our new bowls from Lita and Steve. Our friends gave me these for my birthday. How awesome do they look? And they brought our last set as well. They're amazing. And um, so we're gonna take these camping for the first time with the Cranky Croc tent. And um, yeah, so it's two plates, two small plates and two bowls. And then we've got these bigger ones to do mixing in. Then we've got our cups and um, our tea towels, our King Dino versions. So you can order these online um, now with our merchandise. We've got plenty of other merchandise you can order. Um, go down the description to check that out. Now, don't forget your kitchen sink. They say, well, here it is, it pops out. So it's really nice and compact. And then also we've got our solar panel here. So we can plug in anything we need charged. Then we have over here, we've got our um, sure way, which is awesome, keep the bugs away, Adam can't stand flies, <laughs> and then we've got other bug repellent things. Then we've got zip cords, which are always handy, some filming stuff, batteries, torch, 
Um, you can kind of see what we've got here. Uh, I find it's always ha good to have some sticky tape and a blade. You never know when you're going to use it. I've got the fairy lights, of course. Tissues, um, paper towel, toilet paper, um, something to wipe Twyla down if she needs to, or even us if we get wet. Um, we can use this, and we've got some garbage bags and different bags for all different needs. So that's a lot of our small stuff. I'm sure there's a few things we might have forgotten, but we'll work that out. And this is not including our actual food itself. So I've just finished rinsing out our new water bottle, um, and now I've filled it right up. Now it does have a traveling lid, so you've got the two flat ones. Um, so they go on when you're traveling. And then this comes off when you get there, tips off on its side, and then you've got the little nozzle that turns it off and on. So there is, it does come with both of those. So for traveling butt, so it doesn't get ripped off in the car, um, we're just using these lids now. Adam has achieved majority of it all in the two no. buckets. Oh, and this. And, um, and then he's used no. because we, we, we put our, we don't, we don't need this because we've already got our own compost um, bin, but uh, the council gave us these. <laughs> and so we're using that for all the toiletries and our bits and pieces. So that can go in there, that's packed. So yeah, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. So we're gonna pack the car in the morning, just in case, because uh, we wanna put, fill this up last minute. But what I am gonna do tonight is I've actually frozen a bottle of water and I'm gonna pop that inside tonight to cool the esky down and get it really nice and cool. This is a tip my brother gave me. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping it works really well. And supposedly you cool your esky right down and then in the morning I'll replace that with another frozen bottle and take that one out, water my plants with it. And uh, hey presto, you're gonna have a really cool esky. Adam is packing all the dry food into our sink for the little idea. And then inside our fridge, we always set, whenever we go away in the van or um, in now, in the tent, a spot where we have all the stuff we're taking. So we know to grab that and put that in the esky tomorrow morning. But it's in there getting cold still. All right, we have everything we're taking, except for Twyla's um, outdoor bed. Adam wants to try to fit that in somehow. But anyway, we've got that here. The Jimny is here. So let's get Adam packing because he's the king of fitting things in. So let's how we see how he goes. All right, so Adam's starting to pack already. We've gone and put, we've got um, our wood, firewood the there. And what's that? I saw the surprise. What's the surprise? The firewood. Oh, yes, the <laughs> surprise. And um, he's just putting the shovel and brush, his shoes, and our sleeping bags um, behind the chair. We actually forgot about this, and Adam's thinking we might turn this into our pantry and put some of our dry pantry goods in here, which would be handy um, because this should all be empty um, once we set up our tent. So now Adam is getting all our dry goods and popping them in here. It's actually working out really well. <laughs> Look at this, our own pantry. This is really cool. Surprising how much you can actually fit in here. What's that? Surprising how much you can fit in that little spot. Well, Adam's trying to pack Twyla's actual proper camping bed. We'll see if that actually works. In goes the esky. How are you going carrying that water? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit heavy, isn't it? Is this oh, is it leaking? Sealed? That's not good. Check the seal. Check the seal. Don't want leakage. Is the seal all right? Well, we did buy it from Kmart, so... Hey, Kmart's been a bit of a lifesaver. Leave them alone. <laughs> all right, well, it's worked out pretty good. Our plan was to get it pretty level. And it is, uh, so then the tent can go on top. We have got Twyla's bed still, her soft bed, but that's all right. That should just fit in there and we'll squash that down. But uh, otherwise, pretty good job, hey, Adam? Mm -hmm. All right, the last piece is going in. We'll see if Adam can lift the tent up that high. It is pretty heavy. Do you want me to do what, Adam? Oh, 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 look at him go. Oh, he's like a little pack ant. Look at him. Adam ant. Oh, the Jimmy's nearly done. Will our plan work? The cranky croc tent on top. 
Yep, I think it's done it. I think we're done. All right, not heaps of room out the back window, but better than nothing. We're all packed and ready to go. Well, that's it for another episode, guys. We hope you've enjoyed this shopping spree, basically, it's been. Uh, for all our bits and pieces, we spent enough, didn't we? We did, indeed. Um, how about when the outdoor store sponsor us? Reach out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would need some sponsors, guys. This is costing a fortune to keep doing this stuff. And um, I think otherwise, Twyla, we're going to have to send her to work. I think she's going to have to become a model or something. Mm -hmm. She doesn't get out of bed for less than 50,000, guys. Per anyway. Per day. <laughs> <laughs> per day. Now, stay tuned to next Sunday to find out where we take the Jimmy, Jiminy for the first time and uh, see all our setup and we'll show you some of the new products we brought and uh, give them a test run and see if they're any good. Hope we've chosen right. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to next Sunday at 5 p.m. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you then. See you guys. Bye.